Hi, my name is Jesse, and today we're going to learn how to access and utilize the Core Config Manager in Nagios XI. So first things first, we'll go to the Configure tab and click Core Config Manager. You'll be confronted with a list of any of the objects configured in your system, hosts, services, host groups, service groups, etc. These are all very common, especially if you have a background in Nagios Core. They should be very familiar. Now, the ones you'll use most often are likely hosts and services. These are actually every object that's configured in Nagios XI. So if we click on services like you'd expect, you get a list of services that are doing checks on your system. And if you click on hosts, you get a list of hosts. So if we wanted to change anything about any of these hosts or services, let's, uh, let's change a service, for instance. So we're in services. Let's go to slash var disk usage. And we can see that we have a, uh, the config name, we have the description, and then we have check and alert settings. So we'll go to check settings and change this disk check from every five minutes to every 30 minutes, because we really don't need to check the disk that often. Then we'll hit save. After we hit save, Nagios XI lets us know that an apply configuration must be run for new changes to take effect. Uh, what this means is the core config manager is more of a staging environment than a real-time environment. So when you make changes in the core config manager, they don't actually apply until you run an apply configuration. So after you're done making all the changes that you'd like to make, click apply configuration, and then click the apply configuration button, and then Nagios XI will take all the changes that you've made and push them out and make them live. And that's how you access and utilize the core config manager at a basic level. If you have any questions, please contact us at support nagios.com slash forum. Otherwise, check out our related content on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.